Uh, okay, so this is going to be a pretty quick look at how to move audio around in Pro Tools with all your markers. You'll notice in this Pro Tools session I have a lot of markers all over. Each one of these is anywhere between 3 and 10 minutes long or so. And they have markers because they're all classical tracks. But you might have this in a pop song with um, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, break, pre-chorus, whatever, um, as well. So one thing that is frustrating in Pro Tools is, uh, let me explain the reason I'm doing this first. Um, over on the left side of the screen, these are the actual recording session here. Uh, then to the right of each one of these um, times that we were in the studio, so right here, this might be two hours, uh, to the right of that is actually the edited track. Now moving on to mixing, and I, I really like to stay in one session if I can. Uh, that way if the client comes back and asks to go fix this note at D in Winter Wonderland, I can go back over and find it. So over here I am creating my mixing setup. So mixing session is a marker, uh, and each one of these is a song, and in my mixing window you can see it'll say things like track 3, track 4, track seven, etc. Uh, each one of those is a track. Okay, so in Pro Tools, something that's very frustrating, I think, is markers don't move with audio files very easily. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, the next track I'm working on is called White Christmas. You've probably heard it. Uh, and this is a Christmas album. So there's the track. So the first thing I do is I click up in the timeline where the markers are. Then, holding down Command, it goes to that marker. I click here. Then I actually hit Shift, hold down Shift, and click over the marker. So you can see right here I've selected this first marker, the second marker, all the way to whatever the next marker is. It doesn't matter because it won't copy that. Then, scroll back down. Oh, then hit uh, Command C to copy those markers, because you can copy markers, you just can't drag them around in units. And I go to the end of the track and click once again back up in the timeline area where you want the markers, and I hit paste. Okay. Uh, now I've got those two markers and you can see that third one did not copy. Then I go back to the original track here, uh, edit White Christmas, and I click somewhere in the actual um, recording area on the actual tracks and I've got a group all selected right now so every single track and I click there hit shift click end oops hold on command click on the first the edit that's the start then shift click at the end and it selects all of that audio I hit command C and I go back here to the actual track I hold down command click on edit and hit paste and what I've just done is moved all of these files, still edited exactly the same, and the markers. And those markers are very, very strategically set so that when I hit, this is where I actually want the start of the track to be. So when I actually export it, when I bounce it out in Pro Tools, uh, I will do the same thing. I'll click on Edit, then Shift to the end, and then I'll use Option Command B and bounce that out. So those markers actually identify the beginning and end of my, um, what will eventually be every track on the CD. So I use those markers more than just telling me where things start and stop, but actually as part of my exporting process for the final product. So the placement within milliseconds is really quite important to me. Um, so I want to keep maintain those relationships. That's it. Just a quick look at how to move audio around with the markers and keep them all lined up perfectly in Pro Tools. There you go.